In my time, the challenges in nursing and healthcare were daunting. Sanitary conditions in hospitals were abysmal, leading to rampant infections and high mortality rates, particularly in war zones like the Crimean War. My focus was on improving hygiene and sanitation, as these were the primary means to reduce the spread of disease. Nursing was still evolving as a profession, and there was a dire need for systematic approaches and data-driven methods in patient care. I am considered one of the first data analysts to produce some of the very first infographics ever made. That data is given to a machine to produce better data to predict the future, sounds revolutionary. Your contributions were impressive, Florence. During the same time, the field of cancer research was in its nascent stages. My work was centered around the discovery of radioactive elements, which opened new avenues in understanding the process of radioactivity. However, the challenge was immense. We lacked deep insights into the nature of cancer cells and the impact of radiation on them. The tools for diagnosing and treating cancer were primitive and there was a significant gap in our understanding of how to effectively use radiation in cancer treatment. In some way, it looks like a lot of progress has been made but, at the same time, still a long way to go, with similar techniques to those in my time still in use today. If we had access to AI and personalized medicine in my era, it would have revolutionized nursing practices. AI's ability to analyze patient data and environmental factors could have led to more effective infection control and improved patient outcomes. We could perhaps have triaged patients better and faster, offered better personalized patient care, and understood each individual's needs based on more data than just the data I collected myself with my limitations as a human and a single individual. That's a fascinating point, Florence. In line with that, Ari's potential in oncology and immunology is vast. Understanding genetic predispositions to certain cancers together with regular monitoring and how each individual responds to different treatments would have been groundbreaking and will be groundbreaking in the future. It would have paved the way for truly personalized cancer therapies, tailored not just to the type of cancer, but also to the individual's genetic makeup. Absolutely, Marie predictive capabilities could have been used in both of our cases for preventive healthcare. By analyzing trends and patient histories, we could have anticipated outbreaks or identified high-risk patients, intervening proactively rather than reactively. This approach would have been particularly beneficial in managing and preventing diseases in crowded, unsanitary environments like military hospitals, as I had to face. It was a pleasure to speak with you, Florence. You too, Marie.